Now we shall discuss about GSM handover. Looking into the outline, first the learning objective and the handover in GSM. I will be discussing about the types of handover, handover decision, the signal flow during an inter BSc, intra MSc handover, and few learning extension resources and few references that have been done for this video. The learner will be able to point out when different GSM handovers take place once we finish this particular topic. A handover is a process in mobile communication in which cellular call or a data session is transferred from one cell, hexagonal cell, to another hexagonal cell without any discussion in the communication between two mobile stations. The types of handover in GSM are intracell handover, intercell intra BSE handover, inter BSE intra MSE handover, inter MSE handover. Going for the first type, the intracell handover, uh, when a mobile station moves within the cell, within the hexagonal cell, we call it as the intracell handover, and each cell is being handled by a particular uh, BTS. In that example, we have got four cells and each cell is controlled by a single BTS. Now when you go for the second category, intercell intra BSE handover, the communication is done from first cell to the second cell. So it is intercell communication and the mobile station from cell 1 moves to cell 2. So the control is transferred from uh, the BTS of the first cell to the BTS of the second cell. These two BTS are being controlled by a common BSE and so we term this type of uh, movement to be intercell because it is between cell 1 and 2 and intra BSE because it is within the same BSE. Going to the third category, it is inter BSE and intra MSC. Inter BSE because now suppose there is a mobile station in either cell 1 or cell 2. This mobile station is moving to cell 3. Now, cell 1 and cell 2 is controlled by one BSC and cell 3 is controlled by another BSC. So, the transfer is from one BSC to another BSC. So, we have the term inter BSC. And these two BSC are controlled by one MSC. And so we have got the term inter BSC and intra MSC handover. So a mobile station present in cell 1 when it communicates, when it moves to cell 3, or when a mobile unit in cell 2 moves to cell 3, we call it as inter BSC intra MSC handover. Going for the third one, inter MSC handover. So we have got two MSC here. One MSC has these two BSC, and these two again controls these three BSC. So this MSC is in control of the first, second, and the third cell, and this MSC is in control of the fourth cell. Now, when a mobile unit present in either cell one. 2 or 3 moves to uh, cell 4. It means it moves from one MSC to another MSC. And so this type of handover is called as inter MSC handover. So all that we have discussed has been given here intra cell, it is within a cell, inter cell, intra BSC, inter BSC, intra MSC, and inter MSC handover. So, the handover decision can be explained with this particular picture where if you have one BTS, the signal, control, signal will reduce to a particular level. Suppose one mobile unit is present which is in control of one BTS and this mobile unit is moving from this position to this position 
at this position it will be in control of 1 BTS when it moves to this position it has to move to another BTS so this BTS will be in control of MS so when will the handover be done from one BTS to another BTS that is decided upon by a particular margin and this we call it as the HO margin it is a handover margin so when this stage is reached when this particular position is reached we find the mobile station will not be controlled by this BTS the level is very much reduced and so the control is handed over to the new BTS at this particular position this way we have the handover done from one BTS to another BTS a signal flow during an inter BSC intra MSC handover is given through this figure we have a mobile station it gives a report to the old BTS that result is passed on to the BSC BSC which is the control here the handover decision is taken place so this BSC will give its requirement to its higher end MSC so now this MSC gives the request the handover request to the new BSC and the resource allocation is checked whether it is possible and when the required resources are available this BSC takes a decision that it can activate it can give the control to the new BTS so the channel activation is done and that message is given to the BTS new once the channel activation is done an acknowledgement is given by the new BTS to the new BSC and the HO request that is given by the MSC has been acknowledged and the HO command is given by the MSC to the old BSC we shall finally reach the mobile station so now communication has been done from old uh, BSC to new BSC for handover and when all these is over a link establishment is done from mobile station to the new BTS when the link is being established we finally say the handover is complete and the new BTS gives information to the BSC and the BSC communicates that information to the MSC MSC gives the clear command to the BSC BSC communicates it with the old BTS and a clear complete command is returned back by BTS to BSC which again communicates to its superior that is the MSC this way a proper handover has been done from old BTS to new BTS there are few of the learning extensions available this video will help you in getting more information we have got few references mobile communication by Schiller and few YouTube resources which can aid in additional information thank you